economists would say that when you print money that you should lead to inflation. And that's what we all learned at uni and that's what, you know, I did economics and that was... So that one's gone. And looking at history of Germany and Zimbabwe and, you know, that incidence where you created inflation by printing money, it's interesting, but it, it doesn't exist today. We're not, we're not having an inflation surge. There's got to be a reason for it. What is a few reasons. One is that there's a whole lot of countries printing money concurrently, so you can't devalue value against someone who's also printing. So there's an offset effect. Uh, we've got the massive unemployment level, so we've got underemployment, which is keeping the cost of production down, the cost of labour down, so that's another factor. But the big factor has been China. And Australia is going for, has gone through its deflation cycle with China is about to go into its inflation cycle. The deflation cycle is when an economy, the basis is manufacturing base, closes it down and sends it off to China and says, look, I know we can build cars, I know we can make textiles, but we don't want to anymore because you can do it cheaper. You pay your labour 20% of what we pay ours and you can control your currency. We'd rather buy it off you. So you get this deflation effect. So we, everything we produced 20 years ago, we can import out of China cheaper today. Now that works because China's been pegging as currency. You know, it's not a floating currency. If the currency of China was floating, with the trade surpluses they're generating and the current account surpluses they generated, then their currency, if it was freely floating, would be going up. And the, the market would self-correct. And that uh, benefit they get by underpaying labour would be wilted away through the currency. Yep. That hasn't occurred. And so the world, not only Australia, but the world has given up manufacturing, sent it off to China, and has imported back deflation through the benefit of a controlled currency. In the next 10 years, there's no doubt the China currency will revalue. And it will revalue uh, uh, with some certainty because it won't run the risk of losing its manufacturing. It, it won't run that risk because manufacturing is being... No one's going to open up car manufacturing in Australia again. No one's going to open up textiles again. The currency would have to be 50 cents in the dollar for five years in a row. And just think about what Australia would look like if that happened. Similarly, in America, you're not seeing a rush back of manufacturing out of China back to America. That's why their unemployment growth is so sluggish. There's recovery in profits, but not in, in really employment. And that's another factor. So the reason we have no inflation and we have some sort of deflation is that China has export a deflation to the world by, by managing its currency. The world's been conned, and China's the winner.